In 2015, audiences were introduced to the Kingsmen, well-dressed super spies, doing whatever it takes to save the world. Well, now Colin Firth and Taron Egerton are back for Kingsmen, the Golden Circle. And if that surprises you, because Colin's character was seemingly killed off in the first movie, well, let's just say, like any good thriller, not everything is as it seems. Because you're never going to find a butterfly more interesting than me. Sorry? When you and I first met, I was just like a maggot. Maggots turn into flies. Perhaps you mean lava. It, lava, yeah, okay, whatever. The point is, everyone wanted to squash me. But not you. You helped me to become a caterpillar. And now I've got wings. I'm flying higher than I ever dreamed, and that is all thanks to you. I hate to seem rude, but I need to finish packing. Colin and Taryn, good morning. Welcome back. Hey, thank, thank you. Thank you for having us. Well, I don't want to give anything away, but you were kind of dead in the first one, and here you are back in the second. Explain that. Talking about butterflies. <laughs> exactly. It's all we do in the sequel, by the way. That's as high octane as, as, it gets. as the oh, whole thing Oh, it's a thrilling gets. butterfly action mm -hmm. movie? It's a, <laughs> yes, it's, I'm talking about butterflies. So we won't give away how it is that you've regenerated, but you're back. Mm. And the bond between you is as strong as ever. Yes, I think... It has that thing. I think for an action film, sounding like the great veteran of action movies tonight, <laughs> um, I, for it to work, it has to have. It, it does have to have some heart. It does. You know, even if you're watching people fight, you have to be rooting for someone. And Taryn, you were really new on the scene. I don't know if you'll remember, but we interviewed you when this remember. came out. I Colin do remember. doesn't remember. I remember being terrified to be here. Yeah, well, you were fabulous, Thank and you. I said he's coming back. Colin first. I'm not sure, but Taryn <laughs> for sure. And how has it been? I mean, this roller coaster ride because you were right out of drama school. Yeah, it's been crazy, and I mean, especially you know, with that being my first film, and to have the validation of coming back because people want another one. And then we got a few little known actors to come back and join us in this movie as well, didn't we? Good segue, who's in this? I mean, it's a who's who. Yes, we have a very nice little supporting cast, don't we? Uh, um, Jeff Bridges, Channing Tatum. Halle Berry. Julianne Moore. Elton John. Yes. <laughs> He's not too slouchy. Not too shabby. Yeah. 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 And, you know, people have talked about this relationship that's at the heart of the movie, and then a lot of people said, it seems like it's very genuine, Colin kind of, took you under his wing when you were kind of new on the scene. Yeah. So we'll be here. And now he's taking me under his wing <laughs> as I That's enter not my true. dotage. Not <laughs> true. I, we're not Rose the only ones statue. to notice the bromance because I think somebody posted this picture. This is really cute. It's of Taryn looking over at your co-star. But uh, let's look. Yes, yeah. but we got to zoom in because look at Colin's face here. He's giving somebody the stink eye. Yeah, he's he, not He's not happy. There are, these, there are these hilarious videos online of me looking adoringly at Colin. And then the other day someone brought this to my attention, where I'm looking longingly at Pedro and Colin does not look very he, happy. He doesn't about look it. happy yeah. at all. Oh, that picture is painfully revealing. <laughs> yeah, you my soul has been laid bare. It really yeah. has been laid bare. Yeah. There was um, all you and your co-stars when we just named them were at the Comic Con convention yes. the other day. I have to show this. So somebody brought who brought out the whiskey? I think that was Jonathan Ross, the talk show host from oh, the UK. Yeah. Okay, and somebody I think Channing Tatum was doing the pouring. He poured an entire glass for Halle Berry, who Which, appears to drink it. Please tell me that's water. I know, that is actually whiskey, I think. Oh, I, my we, I didn't drink mine. Did you drink yours? I, I'm, I'm going to plead the fifth. I can't, no, I'm not going to say what's in there. I don't think that could have been, <laughs> possibly. Maybe watered down. It's but, incredible. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But that was, I like, probably uh, went straight to nap time after that. Yeah. yeah. But, so, I mean, you know, anything, I mean, anything can happen at Comic-Con. The rules do seem <laughs> It's true. This is true. Were you surprised to see how much this movie really caught on and how much people loved it? I am. Um, because I'm always surprised when any movie does well, really. <laughs> so, uh, um, because the law, you know, it's it's the chances are so slim uh, with all the variables. Everything has to be right. Yeah. It's always a miracle when one comes out right. Although I did have a good feeling about this. Good. That usually proves wrong. <laughs> yes. But while I was shooting, I just could not see this not being loved by people. Wow. You know. And the sequel is action-packed as well. All those yeah. butterflies we were talking about. Colin and Taryn, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank, thank you. By the way, did you all notice these beautiful costumes from the film? They're from uh, Mr. Porter Style Shop. Sent them over. Oh, very very cool. snazzy, well-dressed. Kingsman, The Golden Circle opens nationwide next Friday. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.